In this paper, we propose a large language model-based intelligent mapping framework termed MapGPT, which can be used for solving complex cartographic mapping tasks, designing map symbols for geographic features, and modifying map by interactive conversations. All of these functions are based on natural language dialogue only. Let's see how it works. Here is our first case. Now we can enter our mapping requirements and the specific data. Then MapGPT starts to solve this mapping task. Since we have defined its workflow in the promote, MapGPT will solve this task with the concrete format. Therefore, it first initializes the map, including modifying the initial setting of the map, such as setting the background color. After that, it will add corresponding layers, since detailed demands of different layers have been specified in the query. MapGPT will first define the parameters of different layers based on the query of by invoking some modified tools, such as using the tools of modified line width and modified line colors to define the width and the colors of line layers, respectively. After these parameters have been defined, it will invoke the map add layer tool to add the corresponding geographical features. Then, after the layers have been added, MapGBT will add other map elements such as the campus, legend, scale bar, and frame. Since the query requires the map title and the annotation of the GDP development of Guangdong province in China in 2023, MapGPT also adds them. In this case, the annotation is generated by the knowledge inherent in the used llama. Finally, the first mapping task is finished and the result is presented in the right side. Now I will introduce the second case. In this case, MapGPT will first initialize a map like the process in previous case. Then, since the query specified the demand to design symbols for the input data, MapGPT will invoke the modify simple tool, that is, DALI3 as the core, to generate two symbols, and subsequently add the two layers with corresponding symbols, respectively. Specifically, DALI3 is employed to generate three different images. An interactive mechanism then allows users to choose their preferred image from the candidates, ultimately serving as the designately symbols. However, given that cartographic mapping is inherently subjective, the generated result by MapGPT may not entirely align with user preference. As a solution, users have the option to instruct MapGPT to revise or fine-tune the result, specifying adjustments like adjust the color and design a new symbol in a subsequent query. Consequently, MapGPT generates a new map, taking into account the combined demands from both queries. In response to this situation, MapGPT retains the information from Instruction 1, adjusts some map elements based on the demands in Instruction 2, and ultimately generates a mapping result that satisfies both Instruction 1 and Instruction 2. That concludes our video presentation on MapGPT. Thank you for your watching.